Uh, hi everyone, this is Sandeep. Uh, I have with me my team members, uh, Ankit Joshi and Himanshu. So we all have participated in Sitecore Hackathon 2020. And this time we got three topics. First one was uh, the, uh, so if the idea behind this meetup was to showcase uh, the innovation as a service. So for this, uh, the main uh, things to be noticed was like uh, uh, either the meetup.com site or hackathon.com site, or uh, we have this marketplace website, which are uh, either, uh, you know, uh, charging uh, for the registrations or maybe uh, they are too old uh, uh, as a version, so they need a fresh. So keeping that in mind and uh, you know, uh, making it helpful for all the community members who are participating in the hackathons. We came up with the idea of uh, revamping or giving a fresh look uh, or, you know, uh, or uh, we can say like a prototype for the hackathon website. So uh, as always, like uh, for the obvious reason, we have used Sitecore as a CMS, as a platform for this. And uh, uh, we have used the latest Sitecore 9.3 version for this development of prototype. So uh, if uh, I go to content editor, you would be able to see that uh, 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 the site has been developed using uh, a strict Helix principles and uh, uh, the SXA-like structure. In this, we have one home page. Uh, so whatever, I mean, this is just a prototype which has been designed uh, with uh, some bare minimum functionality and uh, uh, with some uh, demo sort of pages which are actually required for a, a, a latest uh, up to design website, uh, hackathon website actually. Uh, so we have tried to use, uh, uh, you know, uh, make it uh, exactly like the way Sitecore sites should be structured so that they could be localized in future as per the relevant uh, uh, visitors coming from the specific markets or languages. And uh, all the media can be stored here in the Sitecore itself, as well as we would have all the configurations of the items, images, translation, should everything be done from the Sitecore CM it itself. So, uh, when we are using CMS, uh, I just would like to uh, add that uh, uh, we can come up in the future to integrate it with different uh, site for uh, uh, tools like EXM. We can have uh, marketing automation in the place. We can have EXM and, uh, you know, uh, we can have a personalization to have the idea about what uh, uh, what dates of the hackathon are most uh, uh, you know, uh, good for the people who are looking to participate. So keeping that in mind, we uh, have uh, given this uh, 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 touch to this prototype, which should be uh, come as a fresh launch. So as you can see on the screen, we have developed this design itself for this hackathon uh, website, which is giving a very fresh look. Here we have used Bootstrap. And we have used uh, uh, Helix guideline uh, Visual Studio solution structure. So I would request um, Himanshu to just uh, give you an uh, idea about uh, the solution structure in the Visual Studio first. So we have used completely, as I said before, uh, Helix architecture for this, Helix guidelines for this, every feature, foundation, project, and we have used uh, uh, for the best practices, we have used Unicorn for the item synchronization. As in the team, we are using that. Also, we have given a folder for documentation, configurations, everything. So uh, now coming back to the site, uh, this is the home page. On the home page, we have on the top very header, which is giving the links to the basic uh, uh, essential pages of a website. After this, uh, uh, for just uh, uh, giving a message about a good website, we have given a search box, which is not working as in one day it was not possible to make it working. But uh, it should be as uh, the, all, uh, all the customers, all the customers or the visitors coming on the website needs a search to have a better interaction. 
and a less uh, uh, bounce rate. Then we have uh, on the uh, just below the uh, banner, we have this uh, key facts information. And in this key facts information, we are giving some information to the newcomers about the hackathon. And on the above to it, we have a banner. So banner is something which is showcasing a, a lot of information about the upcoming e upcoming events, hackathon dates, and any other information. And from here, uh, people can be redirected to the other pages. So if I go down, then we have a footer as well, where we are giving some basic links. As I said, from the banner, I can be redirected to different other pages. Let's say for a hackathon website, I have a, a page for registering for a specific hackathon. So here, uh, user can uh, uh, the participants can add their team information, their images, descriptions, and then they can click on the add button. Uh, the uh, the other modules would be same. So the idea here is to why to create on site for because we can reuse as many components we would like to reuse on other pages as well as if we want to use SXA components or if we want to create our own components, that is the flexibility here. Then uh, uh, once uh, the teams are added, the participants are added, we can, uh, the teams can see a hollow view of their information on the teams page. Uh, it will show them their team members like and uh, uh, and if they will click, uh, if uh, here on this page, they will see all the teams information which are participating for a specific event. If organizers allow that, so that all, uh, uh, you know, uh, user management, we can also give from the site for end whether that should be visible to the uh, participants or not. Uh, and if I click on, a, uh, let's say on the very first uh, team site for helper team uh, that is coming from India. So here on this page, uh, users, uh, the participants can see like who all members constitute this team from which geographic area the team is participating and which uh, hackathon they are participating in past, what all uh, hackathon events they have won or any other accomplishments as required individual to the specific team members. So that is something uh, very limited uh, or I would say very bare minimum information that a hackathon site as per us should give. And uh, also uh, sky is the limit so you can add as many information or components you want in the future. After this, uh, uh, we can have a calendar view as well as but due to the time constraints, we wouldn't be able to add those things. After then, uh, uh, if I, uh, uh, go uh, talk more about this, then we can introduce personalization, site core EXM features to have more interaction with the participants, and that can also be controlled from the si same site, for instance. So uh, this is something which we have uh, developed, and now I would request uh, my team member Ankit to uh, add few uh, his words on this. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Sandeep. So, um, guys, basically, as uh, um, as Sandeep has already mentioned, that you know, due to the time constraint, uh, we you know, like we were not able to complete all the features end to end here. But we, uh, from our side, we have tried our best to basically give you an overview of you know how that like how the site can be revamped and what different features can be um, can be added as part of the new website. So uh, one of the things which initially, you know, when we started uh, discussing about this topic, so me, Manchu, and Sandeep, we discussed about, it, you know, how 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 much interactive we can make this uh, website for, you know, for the end users, and then and uh, and what business value we can bring um, bring out with the new, you know, revamped website. So one of the thing which uh, which we also discussed that uh, that was regarding, you know, um, having some kind of marketing automation rules in place, where like, you know as soon as uh, we we register for the uh, for any like basically as per the process what happens is uh, we 
uh we submit a form and then ideally like we haven't seen any email which is you know which com- comes to us as an kind of acknowledgement but you know after, after some time um, maybe after after a day or two we see our team's information you know gets updated in on on the hackathon website so what we can also do here is uh, once you know after registering our team with all the required details we can also have an email which comes to us as an kind of acknowledgement and one email goes to you know um, the admin the admin group and then uh, after two days you know after uh, basically it again depends on on, on the use case or uh, uh, what basically we want to basically get uh, out from it so what we can also do is um, we can have some you know some rules running uh, via marketing automation which can see the, you know when was the initial email sent and then um based on you know let's say if you say the initial email was sent on uh, two like on uh, so and so days basically if you take a delta of two days then after every two days we can you know start sending those follow up emails so that you know the, the guys are all you know um, informed about what what is uh, you know going on with uh, with the hackathon and then so that we could normally what happens is if, if you don't do any hackathon if, sorry if you don't do any you know follow up kind of stuff then um, we tend to uh, you know uh, um, uh, forget also that you know that there is something going on uh, with hackathon also so that that is just one example which i'm just quoting here that we can have some marketing you know rules where like we can uh, uh, do something based on even we can do something based on geographic from where the user is actually coming to your website and we can also have some kind of personalization also in uh, you know um, added to to this website but in general if you see this is not a very transactional website this is not something which is going to going to get some revenue out of it so um, personalization is also something which is not very much relevant to uh, to this specific use case but yes definitely if you want to at least give some flavor of personalization to our end users that you know if they're coming from let's say if you want to you know see uh, the teams which are specific to or which are related to our regions only let's say um if i take an example of site code helper which is from india and um we also want to see you know what other teams are there from from uh, from the same region let's say let's say india then we can have some kind of rules defined you know for that geography also so that is also one example which we can do we initially uh, as part of our planning session in the morning we also discussed about that we can what different personalization things we can do with that but uh finally we dropped our idea saying that you know considering that it is it is not uh, you know a very transactional website so uh, let's not you know spend um, so much time on thinking about the personalization factor here but yeah that that is again something which we can always have you know as an add on for this website and because uh, if we have these any kind of personalization in place then it you know user feel, user will feel more connected uh to the application but apart from that this is whatever you know uh we have uh, demoed you or we whatever we have you know just uh, showed you it is just you know it is not end to end but yeah we have just tried um giving you what different features we can have uh, from the feature perspective you see like we can also have something called as an um countdown timer where like we can see if the if the um hackathon is going to you know it started by this uh, by 29th of february and then it is currently going on so we can have a count timer which says you know uh, like 20 minutes left 10 minutes left or like 12 hours left so some kind of timer also initially we plan to have but just because of the time constraints we're not able to have that feature in place so yeah pretty much that's it uh, we have from this uh, uh, you know from this uh, event uh, from last 24 like uh, um it was it was really a great experience and then uh, sandeep manchu and like everyone has you know have everyone has uh, contributed nicely and everyone has done uh, like best what they can do in in 24 hours uh, 24 hours of time um obviously it's not possible to you know to deliver end to end everything and everything functional so we just try to give you a kind of prototype which basically gives you a kind of sense what exactly we are trying to do here and then it's it's basically up to um our innovation and how much creative we are and what different features we want to add but definitely yeah, this is just kind of you know a starting point for us and then maybe um, we can definitely you know extend it and add many features as we want so uh, this is what we have uh, guys if you have any questions any feedback you know you can always uh, reach out to us
So, uh, yeah. Um, thanks, thanks. Uh, thanks. Thank you, Anne. Have a great day.